tonight as we are joined by Arizona Senator John McCain, Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, good morning. Always good to have you with good. us. Good morning, Martha. And by the way, that attack, uh, there will be more attacks as long as ISIS has a base uh, called Raqqa to operate out of, to plan attack and even ma manufacture the kinds of uh, material necessary to carry out terrorist attacks. And there is no strategy to take Raqqa by this president. You know, you, how, you know, people sort of, you know, hear you this, you know, you see the attack in Paris, you hear this attack in Turkey. We remember the attacks on the beaches in Tunisia over the summer at hotels and tourist sites. Um, characterize for the American people in your way of what you think we're facing in the next three to five months from ISIS around the world. I think until we take out their base at, at Raqqa. Raqqa, this is the first time a terrorist organization has had a territorial base with which to operate, train, equip, send out their messages of propaganda, to even set up bomb factories. And as long as they're able to do that, uh, especially you, it's now e exaggerated by the flow of refugees uh, that I know that Baghdadi is bringing some young men in and saying join the refugee flow and and contact us on a secure site. Uh, so it's going to continue. And the tragedy of all this is, as we celebrate retaking Ramadi, uh, the second largest city in Iraq is still under ISIS control. And there is no strategy whatsoever to take ISIS. So uh, as long as this administration is in power, you will see this base of operations and propaganda and effective yeah. attacks throughout the world. So what we're seeing in the polls, and let's bring some of these up, is that this what you're saying is pervasive in terms of American sentiment right now, in terms of how we're dealing with this. 65% of Americans were polled, excuse me, believe that the Obama administration has mostly failed when it comes to ISIS. Let's take a look at one more poll in terms of how safe we are in this uh, really unsettled world here at home. Has the Obama administration made the country safer? 58% say that that has mostly failed. It's up about 10% uh, since the same time um, about six months ago. How do you expect the president to characterize these issues, these concerns of the American people tonight? Well, I'm afraid that he's going to sort of uh, put his emphasis on gun control as that's the answer to this uh, issue of terrorism. He really has no defense for his actions ever since uh, the beginning when he decided to lead from behind, when the seminal moment when the Secretary of Defense, uh, Director of the CIA, the Secretary of State, uh, and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff all argued for arming the Free Syrian Army. you got to remember, Baghdadi was an inmate of one of our prisons called Camp Bak Buka, and he took a, a core of some several hundred Al-Qaeda, moved to Syria, and developed what is now known as ISIS. All of that could have been prevented early on if we'd have had the residual force stay behind. It's been a series of withdrawals from the scene that have caused us to be in the situation we're in today. And more and more Americans are figuring yeah. this out. This is called leading behind, and the tragedies will be uh, on a continuing basis because ISIS is able to operate internationally as they metastasize throughout the Middle East. Well, we've seen, you know, in all of these polls, a flip in what people are concerned about. They're clearly worried about national security. They're clearly worried about ISIS. Your good friend, Lindsey Graham, who was in this race until recently, is no longer in it. And one of the things that he served to do during these debate forums was to keep bringing the issue back to what he saw as the necessity of boots on the ground to deal with eliminating ISIS in Iraq and Syria and, you know, taking away that stronghold of Raqqa. Who's going to carry that torch now? Well, I think Lindsey will continue to do so because he's one of the most respected members of the United States Senate on national security issues. By the way, I still believe if, if he could have gotten into the top two, tier, he would be uh, formidable. But look, uh, that that's water under the bridge. But the point is uh, that uh, Lindsey Graham, I, there's a number of others in the Senate, particularly some of the newer members of the Senate, like Senator Ayotte, Senator Sullivan, and others who are heavily engaged in uh, these issues. And we will continue in the Armed Services Committee, which as you know, I'm chairman, to, <coughs> to have hearings and to debate. And also we'll have another defense authorization bill. 
But very frankly, Martha, I, uh, I almost think that this president is running out the clock and the next president's going to have one heck of a challenge to clean this up. And again, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there will be further attacks. There is no strategy. Senator John McCain, uh, lots more to talk about, obviously. Good to see you, sir. We'll see you next time. Thank, Thank you.